Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Untouchable Wolf, and if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe for more Black Milk Wukong how to videos and live streams. And thank you so much for your support, it truly does mean a lot. Today, I'm showing you how to defeat the final boss very easy from new game plus number three and beyond so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's get started i'll be showing you the build and then i'll be showing the gameplay this is so very easy i promise you also uh, we're going to be doing a really good cheese method first you want to make sure to use the bull keys armor set so now we're using this because of the tenacity This build is going to be focused on damage reduction. So I am using the Dark Iron Staff. We have the Wind Tamer. See the equipped effect slightly increases damage reduction. Now any of the curios that deals with damage reduction or defense. So using the Jade Moving Rabbit, the Gold Sun Crow. And then three gold spike plates considerably increases the defense so defense is all the way now you might be asking why i am not using the secret armor when you compare it when you put it together and then have your full relics the um fortune's favor so you might be asking that because i do have all my relics um like i said i'm on new game plus number three i've already defeated the boss so i will be going to new game plus number four but we're, do, we're using the bull keys armor because of the tenacity. So like when he hits you, you'll still be able to take it. So just keep that in mind when I get that full bull king's armor. And then when it comes to I'm using dark iron staff, you can see my stats over here. You wanna make sure when it comes to your gourd, I am using the Supreme Gourd. Now this is where you can adjust things for yourself. But if you want to find anything, like I said, it is related to damage reduction. We have the Supreme Gore with 10 uses. Let me go over here. Hopefully everybody's doing good. You want to make sure to have your potions um, that can help you with that. It can increase your damage output and defense too when it comes to your medicine. Let's go to the brew here. You see I have the long bomb as well as three laurel buds damage reduction. And then I have the uh, Willow Leaf after using Life Saving Strain and recovers Gourd uses. So when it comes to the, your spells, we're going to be using Spellbinder. Um, it's very, very important that you use a Spellbinder. Use a Spellbinder against that additional attack power. Um, I'm going to show you why in just a few. Uh, few. So just using the Spellbinder combined with the Life Saving Strain. And we're going to be using the Pillar Stand. So the pillar stance is very important. So let me go show you the skill tree. It's hopefully everybody's doing good and enjoying Black Myth Wukong. I'm just having so much fun. I will be going to new game plus number four very soon. So make sure to check out my live stream. Uh, make sure to have the notifications on so you will not miss a live stream. And I really do appreciate all of your uh, support, taking the time to watch my video. So everyone make sure to have the pillar stand. Make sure to have that complete when it comes to your skill tree. Same with the spell binder. And then you'll be pretty much really good to go. So the thing that I'm going to be doing when it comes to, I'm going to show you right here before we go to the actual uh, boss. The thing that we're going to be doing is using the pillar stance and we're going to be doing a light, light attack with a heavy attack. And we're doing this motion right here. That's all we're going to be doing during this fight, pretty much. And then we'll switch back to the smash stands and do a quick heavy attack after it builds up. So we're doing, again, you're going to see in the gameplay how to do it. I'm on a, a PS5, so we are doing a light attack immediately into a heavy attack. So tap the light attack button and then go and press your hold, hold your heavy attack. And he's going to take some nice damage. So remember, we are using, we're going to be using the spell binder. So, you know, I'll show you the gameplay right now with the boss. So let's do this and let's go and let's have some fun. Ooh. 
So first, even before I, I get into this boss fight, I'm going to apply my spell binder and then I'm going to use any medicines that will help me with my increase of damage. So you see right here, I'm that I'm applying the amplification pellets. Now you can apply what you want to get that um, damage increase up. You see, I'm doing the tiger pellet. You can do the enhance if you have that. And then I'm going to be using the um, evil repellent right there to give me some damage reduction. And then we're going to go and build up your focus using the smash get that good heavy attack in and just before you know it you're gonna be like untouchable wolf this is so easy so easy i go and do the sweeping gale make sure to go to your pillar stance you want to make sure to hit the light attack and then do a heavy attack hold the heavy attack and sweep around and then the spell binder is going to help you with this as well as yours your um, life's saving strand spell so the life of saving strand spell will be your backup in case you die so you want to make sure to um yeah just practice and then when you get that full focus point go down and switch to the smash and then use your heavy attack to get that good hit and it's gonna be like untouchable wolf what is going on you're so powerful now so you see right there it um got a good hit in right there so if you have any questions when it comes to the final fight or anything when it comes to the boss's items just let me know in the comment section down below we are doing a rinse and repeat method for the first phase as well as the second phase so the technique you just want to make sure to um make sure because he's very powerful when it comes to the new game plus number three and beyond as many of you know but the technique is to make sure you to apply your um when it comes to your gore make sure to apply that because it will put that uh, damage reduction back up so you see right here we're close to the uh, very um, final part of the first phase and you're going to be feeling good see right here i'm rinsing and repeat Took me a couple of times. Now you see right here, I was getting greedy, but we do have the resurrection spell. And when it comes to my soaks, I do have, when I revive myself, you see right there, my gourd actually goes all the way to the top. And I'm like, right now, hey, I'm having a good time. I know this technique is a really good method. It's really OP, it's very cheese. So we're gonna continue on and proceed to we're almost to the second phase and you see right here i have my focus all the way up i'm switching to the smash stance and he's going to feel it right there that's what i'm talking about let's go so immediately when we get to the second phase i know all of you are going to be so very confident because this method is the way to go we're doing this so good in new game plus number three and beyond so you can immediately you can go if you want um, applies your medicine right before you start attacking but i started to do this sweep and go right away you see right here i'm almost i'm drinking my damage reduction you see right there how uh, my um, buffs are applied to me so you're feeling confident now you know don't take too long when it comes to when you get your uh, focus meter filled up go ahead and switch back to the smash stance and like i said just a few uh, minutes ago seconds ago is just rinse and repeat that's why i said it might take a two a couple of attempts uh, to get this uh, strategy down packed but it's so very easy you're going to be doing this and you're going to be feeling good about getting to the final boss each and every time so uh, let me know in the comment section down below what new game plus that you're on like i said I, i'm i'm on new game plus number four i haven't started it up yet i'm doing some things to get my platinum trophy so i will be live streaming very very soon i'm just having so much fun with this game i am max level i have tons of content on my channel so please if you do have time take a look at my live stream as well as my videos i live stream in the evening times around 8 30 eastern time so ho hopefully i will see many of you all there and we just have so much fun um with this game and uh, live streaming and just having so much fun and i cannot wait to go to new game plus number four so you can let me know your thoughts about, about new game plus number four in the comment section down below as well as this easy cheese technique so we're back at it we're doing the sweeping gale almost there and you know when he gets to the um halfway point of his health he's going to be starting to cheat even more so you see right here i am using the life saving pill so the good thing is to make sure to have all your medicine to um you know get ready for the fight now look at that damage that's what i'm talking about let's go the spellbinder combined 
um it's really really op and just make sure watch out for that flying cloud he's just trying to do so many cheating methods but the sweeping gale is where to go now you see you know i got a little bit greedy this is why we do have the uh, resurrection spell because you can get uh, two attempts here and then my gore is fully fully uh, re replenished and i'm very very confident you know what i mean you know stay calm watch out for that sweeping attack that's the tactic can be a one shot so make sure to watch out for that just make sure to dodge to the side of it and he really is going to be upset because you have did this easy cheese method you see right here my focus meter is fully up right now and i'm going in going in for the win 8,000 right there so like i said friends and repeat rinse and repeat do the pillar stance that light a heavy that light attack go into the heavy attack hold the heavy attack and then you'll be good to go so if you have any questions again let me know in the comment section down below and if you found my video helpful or entertaining please make sure to give me a like rating and subscribe for more black myth wukong how to videos and live streams and thank you so much for support it truly does mean a lot so thanks for watching and take care and more wolf videos be coming soon later peace and go out there and defeat this cheating final boss that's what i'm talking about let's go later guys